we know we want to get married in 2024. We're thinking about like time of year and all of that. How does it feel to be the only engaged couple from this season of Bachelor in Paradise? It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, it feels kind of special. Yeah. We're the only ones that made We're it out. We're the only ones who made it out. That's <laughs> wild. Was there any part of you guys that were worried this was too good to be true when you were on the beach? And were you thinking when we get back to reality, there's going to be a catch? I think that that's like something that can creep up in the back of your mind, especially when you look at both of our like relationship pasts. I would and so, say, yeah. I but it's say. like, you don't want to like self-sabotage anything. Like, I think we both kind of had come to this place before we got to the beach where we were h happy and healthy on our own. And yeah. so you have to really be secure in yourself and in that relationship in order to not let things like that get yeah. to you. But I think it's only human to have that thought sometimes. Yeah. I think, you know, like maybe at the beginning, but then we would come, you know, to one another and have that tough conversation yeah. and then be like, hey, uh, is this too good to be true? Like, I, I need you to answer some of these questions for me. Like, are we gonna be compatible in any way and stuff like that? And so once we got those hard questions out of the way, then everything just became so easy, so. I will say I was not like, you know, any moment thinking about being engaged, you know, throughout my life, I thought that I would be like super nervous, like leading up to, you know, any possible engagement. And um, I was actually really calm and at peace. And that was kind of how I I knew. I just felt really good. And I was like, oh, this is the start of like the future. Mm -hmm. so I think that was like really good that ultimately I ended up feeling really peaceful about it. I like it. <laughs> were there any doubts that maybe he wasn't going to propose, but you knew you were going to leave together and you were going to be together, but any, any doubts about the actual proposal going down on the beach that day? Uh, this one wears his heart on his sleeve. So I had like no doubts yeah. at all on proposal day. I mean, there's always that nervous feeling, like you said, where it's like, oh my gosh, like, because when you start to care so much and love someone so much, like you obviously have that pitted feeling where you're like, I hope that this works out. You know, yeah. you want it to, because it means so much, but yeah, I didn't have any doubts. Yeah, I don't think I left you with any doubts. No. <laughs> That's good. Um, did you guys consider taking Jesse up on his offer to get married then and there at all? Seriously, we didn't get to see that part play out. We just heard uh, you say, obviously, you didn't you didn't go through with that right then and there. I think we just wanted to enjoy our engagement. Like it sounded like we, we teased them with it. Like we we, we, we love each lie. other. And, we, we teased them. Well, with it's like we love each yeah. other enough to do it, but it was only like, oh, did you secretly fly our parents here? Like, mm. did you secretly? Right. I, our whole family's here because if then and yeah. we think about and it. And I didn't think he was actually ordained, so I was teasing him. I was like, oh yeah, let's do it, Jesse. And I was like, let me see that ordained book, would you write and stuff like we that. We thought it was just an empty book. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm actually ordained. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, oh no. Ow. <laughs> we were flattered to be the first ones yeah, to be I was asked. Flattered. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. A hundred percent. Well, I know you are taking time probably still to enjoy that engagement and now get to be out in public, but do you have an ideal timeline for when you'd want to get married or are you still just kind of really in the early stages of any of that 2024 yeah we're it's a little bit of both like we know we want to get married in 2024 we're thinking about like time of year and all of that but we're still in the stages of being super excited for where we're at like we haven't gotten to walk out in public as yeah. an engaged couple yet so, and so we're really enjoying this time but i would be lying if i wasn't like on wedding tiktok just like <laughs> saving stuff for later. Pinterest and pen it. Yeah, I, I get a lot of TikToks. I, I have like a, a TikTok TikToks. collection for like wedding ideas yeah. already. So. I, I love that. Um, well, obviously you guys seem really happy. You seemed really happy on the beach. Have there been any growing pains? Have we learned anything about each other we weren't expecting or has it been pretty smooth sailing since you got home? Oh, I mean, we're, we're, we went straight from like seeing each other 20 hours a day to like staying inside and like couldn't be with each other so yeah there's gonna be like little growing pains here and there but yeah we are a normal couple like yeah. we do bicker sometimes yeah, we do have fights sometimes yeah but. like her buying random things on the amazon she's like hey can you put this together for me like i, I hate like, the it. list is never ending <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, okay, good. There, you guys are a normal couple. It's not yeah, a, just a perfect normal. fairy tale. Normal, normal couple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're in the pool together. Like, yeah, we're weird. Come on, I don't care what people say. Like, that is something that everyone does. And they're either lying about yeah. it or. <laughs> we don't even have to bring that up. <laughs> 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 